Welcome again. The next question we'll be doing is on forecasting. The first part of forecasting that I will show you is called exponential smoothing. It is again taken from January 2007. Question number six, part A. Question reads as follows. Emergency calls to the fire department over the past 15 years are as follows. 20, 27, 25, 22, 18, 21, 26, 19, 16, 28, 25, 26, 17, 23, and 27. Use exponential smoothing with a smoothing constant of 0 0.5 to forecast the number of calls for the next week. Now, how do we approach this question? In doing forecasting, it would be good to lay out a table. The table we will lay out pretty much is as follows. Since we are dealing with weeks, the first column will be week. The calls will be the second column, and the forecast would be the third. Now, for week one, they, as they have given you an order, week one would have 20 calls. As we see the paper, we see 20, 27, 25, 22, 18. What that means is that week one's calls were 20. Now, this here, AT, represents actual calls. Uh, at time t. So what this means here is week 1, so the actual for week 1 is 20, the actual for week 2, which would be then what they call a2, would be 27. This ft just represents forecasting for a particular period. Now, what we are trying to find out is we have 15 weeks, what the question is trying to find out is the forecast for the 16th week, which is F of 16. That's what we're trying to find out, F of 16. Now, we're going to use this formula here, which says F of T equals F of T minus 1 plus alpha open brackets, actual of t minus 1 minus the forecast of t minus 1. It looks very complicated, but it's actually very simple. If you look at the back of your exam paper, you see the formula sheet. f of t means the forecast for a particular period. f of t minus 1, t minus 1 means just the previous forecast. Alpha is the smoothing constant. In this particular example, alpha is given as 0 0.5. A of t minus 1 just means actual of previous period. F of t, sorry, minus f of t minus 1 just means minus the previous forecast. Now, how do we apply it here? Now, it's a very simple thing, and I'll just show you so that you get the rhythm. The first part of this question, we actually have, if there's no previous forecast given for period 1, which is your 1, we assume that the forecast for period 1 is equal to the actual for period 1. So before we start to use this formula here, what we say, since no forecast is given for the first period, we assume that the actual for period 1 is the forecast for period 1. So in this case, if the actual for period 1 was 20, the forecast for period 1 will be 20. Now we start the formula. The formula we start like this. We say f of 2 equals f of 2. Let me do it here and then I'll transpose. f of 2 equals 
f of 2 minus 1 would be obviously f1. Okay, what's the previous forecast for period 2? Would be period 1's forecast. Plus alpha. Now, actual of t minus 1 just means previous period's forecast, which would be actual 1 minus the forecast of 1. So when you want to forecast the second period, you need the information from the first period. That's all this formula is trying to say in a in the most simple way. This is what it really means. That for second period forecast, you need the information from the first period. Now, if I'm forecasting period 3, it says forecast for 3, f of 3 would be f of 3 minus 1, which is f of 2 plus alpha a remember this is forecast of 3 so it will be a 3 minus 1 means actual for period 2 minus the forecast for period 2 you see a pattern now if you want to forecast the fourth period, what you need is the forecast of the third period plus alpha, the actual of the third period, minus the forecast of the third period. Now the rhythm goes like that. Once you get this, f of 5 equals f of 4 plus alpha a of 4 minus f of 4 close brackets. So, as we transport that here, the forecast for period 2 is, according to what we have just worked out, f of 1 plus alpha a of 1 minus f of 1. Now, in this case here, Forecast of period 2 requires the forecast of period 1, which I told you the first assumption would be if there's no forecast given, there's no forecast given, use the actual. So that was the first assumption. Now, second step. Forecast for period 2 equals f of 1. What is f of 1? This is week 1. f of 1 is 20 plus alpha. Now alpha was given as 0 0.5, the smoothing constant. Alpha means the smoothing constant. It gives you as, they give it to you as 0 0.5. So it'll be 0 0.5, open brackets, actual of 1. What is the actual of 1? In this case, 20. Minus the forecast of 1, 20. So in this case here, it'll be 20 plus 0 0.5. 20 minus 20 is 0. So this answer here is 20. So the forecast for period 2 is 20. So period 1 is 20, period 2 is 20. Now, we want to find period 16. But in order to find period 16, we need period 15. But to find period 15, we need period 14. To find period 14, we need period 13. That's why we have to start from the top and come down. Next step, f of 3 equals, we have it here, f of 2 plus alpha a of 2 plus, sorry, minus, minus f of 2. Now in this case here, let's take the information again f of 2 is 20 plus alpha again is 0 0.5 open brackets now what is the actual for 2 actual for 2 if you come here it's the actual calls that were made in week 2 which is 27 see that where I got the 27 from actual for 2 is here the actual calls made in period 2 27 minus, what was the forecast for period 2? 20. So what this is, it is 20 plus 0 0.5, open brackets, 20 minus 7, 
which is 20 plus 3.5 which equals 23.5 okay now you have the rhythm now what you have to do now is work out f of 4 now I'm going to explain to you something when I'm doing f of 4 f of 4 means f of 3 plus alpha actual for 3 minus forecast for 3. Now in this case here what is the forecast for 3? We just worked it out here. 23.5 plus 0 0.5 open brackets actual for 3. Where's the actual for 3? 25 minus again the forecast for 325.5 let me see that now we need a calculator 0 0.5 1.5 and we find that the forecast for 4 equals something yeah should I take a guess all right 23.5 plus 0 0.75 we're getting like 24 0.25 yeah 24.25 okay now what you need to do now is work out f of 5 f of 6 f of 7 f of 8 all the way down to f of 15 after you work out f of 15 then you work out f of 16. Again, f of 16 is what the question is asking for. What is the forecast for period 16? However, in order to do it, you have to start from the top. Now, advice for you when doing your exam is you need to get a scientific calculator. Now, a scientific calculator especially the one that has brackets. All scientific calculators should have brackets. We, we want to avoid using calculators looking like this. We need a scientific calculator. Otherwise, if you use calculators like this, it can take you longer to do this question. Now, in a scientific calculator, what you find is that you can actually input this in one stroke in a scientific calculator. You put 20 plus 0 0.5 open brackets 27 minus 20 close brackets equals it will actually give you this answer right away then when you take this answer and put it into your next line you use your scientific calculator again to work it out it makes this calculation very quick using a scientific calculator in an exam this question should take you no more than 15 minutes if you don't use a scientific calculator it can take you up to 45 minutes so to save time, please use a scientific calculator here. Now, after you have worked out, again, all of these steps up to F of 15, F of 16 will be your forecast for period 16. That is what the question is asking. The question asks, Use an exponential smoothing with a smoothing constant of 0 0.5 to forecast the number of calls for the next week. The next week would, in this case, imply, since it was 15 weeks, you're looking for the forecast for period 16. Now, another way you can verify your answers, especially if you're practicing this at home, is at the back of your textbook. Actually, you can use this for all your for your all your um, exam questions at the back of the book there is a CD inside of that CD you install a program called quantitative it's called QM for Windows quantitative method for Windows you can install the version QM 2 or QM 3 when you install that program then you go inside the program and you go under forecasting when you go under forecasting, you can input this information and calculate this question using exponential smoothing. Just play with the program. If you're unsure on how to use a computer, you can ask someone in your group to help you go through it. But it's very simple to th do through your computer program, quantitative methods. 
what I will be showing you in the next few minutes is the next part of that question, which deals on trend projection. Thank you.